like a thousand degrees, so my brain cells are like frying. <laughs> it's really hot. Fashion <laughs> slash sauna episode. Welcome back to Cool Interviews. This is episode five. And today Yay. I'm gonna be interviewing Jasmine Whitley. Jasmine is a wardrobe stylist. She works with some amazing people. Really the stylist cool people. is always on point. Thank you. And we have been able to do a couple shoots together, or mostly Nathan and I just came. <laughs> well, you were kind of just like helping with the vibe. Anyways, we've gotten to work together a couple times and I thought that she would be the perfect person to interview for all of your style questions. Yay. Let's we'll start out with the easy stuff. Okay. And then we have a couple questions from Instagram too that you guys sent in, so we'll get to those at the end. Why don't you just explain like what exactly you do? Like wardrobe stylist, but it's more than that too, yes. right? I'm a celebrity wardrobe stylist and fashion editor. I get hired on to dress clients for red carpet events, magazines. Either the celebrity will bring me on, the publicist, the manager, someone from their team. They're like, okay, so-and-so has like a photo shoot, can you style it? Or they have a red carpet to attend and they need mm -hmm. to elevate their look. And so that's where I come in and I bring all the options and we go and we have a fitting and we kind of like nail down yeah it's so exciting and I love it because it's new every day and, and then as a fashion editor a list nation magazine is what I do all the fashion content for I'll go and I'll style all the editorials I'll style the cover shoot I kind of curate like what's cool that month and fun mm -hmm. and fresh and I also host a YouTube series called closet raid where I have on different like interesting guests I've featured any where from like 11 or 12 year olds to like 45 oh, cool. year old women. So like the age range is so broad. I've featured authors, actors, models, like so many different so people. Fun. So what is like your daily, I mean, I know each day yeah, is different. Yeah, that's but... what I love about what I do is that every day is different. Like I could be pulling samples. I could be in the middle of a fitting. I could be on set for a photo shoot and it's kind of unpredictable. And it mm -hmm. is unpredictable in the sense that like everything's last minute. I have a premiere tomorrow or hey can you film like closet raid today because my schedule's free like so it's mm -hmm. very like spontaneous even this like we just yeah. talked about doing this like two days ago i think yeah right? exactly well, i feel like you kind of have like the dream job it would just be so fun to pick up people's clothes and like shop for people yes so how how like so it's how been a start? wild journey and it's definitely a dream job like i love what i do and i find it so rewarding and making someone feel like you transform them into this like confident empowered mm -hmm. person who views themselves differently when they look in the mirror like it's so rewarding like it's a very cool experience to be behind the scenes of that like i love it so much but it is so much work i am a freelance stylist i don't have like an agency behind me or a manager mm -hmm. or someone doing things like i handle the business side which is like invoicing people making sure you know they're sending payment making sure like i'm scheduling a everything with mm -hmm. like the PRs and managers, things like that. It's not glamorous. Like you're schlepping around like a million garment bags when it's like humid and hot and right stuffy now. or it's raining and you have to go oh, into yeah. like five or 10 different showrooms and there's no parking and you're carrying everything and you're, you're just like on the go. It's like a lot of labor. Like it's mm -hmm. like not mm -hmm. like, Unless you have someone doing all those things yeah, for unless you, you know, know, yeah, like, but I don't. And there's like a lot of uh, organization, which sometimes I'm not that great at, <laughs> but you have to, you know, each piece goes to a different showroom. Like nothing can get lost, right? Yeah. Because maybe I'm placing like an outfit together and one of the things is a little thin belt, right? But that little belt may be like five or six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to lose that belt. Lose. Probably people only see the side that's like fun they just like, think you're shopping outcome right like the picture on the red carpet there's a fly i hate <laughs> flies so much they're worse than bees oh really i hate what? them they're so gross and like ugh, like I, I hate them end product is so glamorous like mm -hmm. the pictures that i post right like yeah. oh my gosh like look at that red carpet or she's on set with so-and-so like that's so fun yeah but like yeah you don't get to see the All journey the yeah. yeah yeah i can relate to that it's like really really fun to do the creative part and have every day be different but it's but like 10 percent yeah like, the glamorous part is there but it's such a fraction of yeah. the pie so what's your advice for someone who wants to become a stylist i think that you have to have so much drive and mm. so much passion behind it because it's not something that you're going to find success in overnight you have to know like this is for me and i'm going to put in this many years and yeah. I'm gonna, you know what I mean so let's just say you do know 
-hmm. I would say like a really big tip is interning under mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. and learning the little things. Like I was saying, there's so many moving parts yeah. and you kind of have to see. So an internship is key. I actually was a styling intern mm -hmm. one time and decided it wasn't for me. <laughs> She's like, this is canceled. It was like what you were saying. Yeah. It's so much work and like going to all the showrooms. So I just did that for one summer and was like, I don't love this enough. <laughs> but I really respect people who do it because it's such a huge part of like any shoe and any any project. The styling is way more important than people realize. Like yeah. makes such a difference in the, the quality. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so I'll look around for see if the internship that I did was available and for some other ones and I'll link those below. If yeah, so. definitely take an internship if you have the opportunity. Snag that up and you might find out that it is the most amazing yeah. thing in the world or the worst thing. Or the, that's why interning is a great way too to see if it's for you. Yeah. Because you get a little glimpse and there were glamorous things. It was yeah. exactly what you're saying. <laughs> like I got to do a shoot with Kristen Bell and mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, Kristen Bell. But then also that was like one day out of the whole summer and the right. rest of the summer it was like, what exactly. am I doing? Exactly, such a small percentage <laughs> yeah. of the fun, cool, glamorous moments yeah. of it. I'm not gonna call anyone out obviously by yeah. name, but you worked with a celebrity, it was so fun. Sometimes they're not very nice. Sometimes yeah. they're not, it's a, a bad experience and mm -hmm. that's just part of the job. Like some customers, like mm -hmm. if you work at target like some people are gonna be pleasant yeah and some people are gonna be really rude yeah. and that's how it is with celebrities too like not everyone's gonna be like a pleasure to work with yeah so what is one of the most fun projects you've ever uh, gotten to work on this is such a hard <laughs> question one really cool one that stands out to me is mm -hmm. for Lele Pons she wrote a book and I got to style the cover shoot for the book so I that's got to awesome. see my styling work like on every book uh, cover in Barnes and Noble and I was like that's I did that like yeah. that's so cool like that one sticks out to me obviously so many amazing moments with the Merrill twins they've been mm. my girls for years yeah. they're such loving friends like mm. at this point I feel like they're family because it's mm -hmm. been so long like their Dior moment they're like so many fun things like that like I, I could like talk forever Do you have any embarrassing stories from when you first got started or any like horror fashion moment i think like okay i can't think of anything that crazy one year for a really big event like a big red carpet event i placed an emerging designer from new york sent me some samples and they were really cute and i placed them on one of my clients mm -hmm. and sometimes samples aren't the best quality mm -hmm. because they haven't gone into production yeah and that's like a whole like long story like you know they get like tweaked and stuff mm -hmm. for um when they're like actually in stores this dress was walking oh, no. down the red carpet and the entire thing split open oh. and ripped like oh, down she sent me a picture she's like um this dress <laughs> just like broke on the red carpet which that's uh, not really your fault at all but it's, it's so not my like... fault but it's like also like okay i got you yeah know. you feel responsible yeah i feel responsible <laughs> i guess a horror story is like during fitting sometimes people which i don't understand will lie about their size so <gasps> i'll get there and like nothing <laughs> will fit them and it feels like i did a bad job you know like yeah. but they gave me they're like you know okay like i'm a size two or four or something and they're like clearly like a six eight and then i'm just like oh my gosh like nothing's so fitting comfortable. yeah so tell us about closet rate so it's every thursday and I feature new guests and we talk about their wardrobe and we talk about fashion and pop culture and it's just like a fun self-expression kind of platform. In each episode you kind of go through their closet and Yeah, we talk them. about their style, we look at their wardrobe, but like I ask them a bunch of fashion questions so and cool. we, it's just all about clothes. <laughs> so I'll link that below too, so if you haven't checked out her closet raid yet, check that out. Sprinklers are going on. <laughs> Is that gonna ruin um, everything? This is a question I always ask people as like small talk when I'm at like a party and I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. Yeah. Okay, so if you could give a TED talk on any topic, not styling related, mm. let's say. Not styling. What would it be? That's a really hard question. Ah, that's a good <laughs> question though. I guess this is kind of related, but doesn't count as fashion. I think body image mm. because of my career and my yeah. path and my journey and everything that I do and who I work with that's such a huge thing so yes. I maybe body image that's so cool yeah it's a it's a struggle like I'm not gonna lie like yeah. working in fashion you're constantly hyper aware of mm -hmm. your size 
what looks yeah. good on you, what size other girls are that I'm styling, mm -hmm. what like it's very in your face. And yeah. it, for the girls who I'm styling as well, it's just something that it's always there. Yeah. So like yeah. it's constantly people are talking about weight, weight and size yeah. and comparing and just what you look and, like in and general. Like, yeah, just image, I guess. Yeah. Like, beauty standards, body image, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's so <laughs> cool. I want to hear your TED talk. So we both posted a question sticker on our Instagram stories for you guys to send in questions. So we're going to do some of those right now. Yay. Okay, so I like this question a lot. This person says, I recently switched jobs from casual to a little more trendy slash dressy. Do you have any tips that will help me to not have to buy an entire new wardrobe on a budget? I think it's great to elevate your wardrobe with pieces that are interchangeable and mix and matchy mm. so you don't have to buy a whole new wardrobe i think key pieces like a beautifully tailored blazer can mm. be worn That's cool. yeah wait was it a guy who asked or a girl um i'm not sure you can wear a blazer so many different ways um and style them even if you're a man you can wear like a suit you can wear them with jeans you can wear, you know what i mean mm -hmm. like you can kind of play around and you can always wear that it's like a timeless piece that you'll never get rid of and i think that if you for me at least with work like when i think about it less mm -hmm. i have like a better time with fashion when i'm getting ready in the morning so mm -hmm. i kind of have a uniform right yeah like i don't like it's waste too much time for me to be able to like look at my closet get inspired what am i going to wear mm -hmm. today no i already know like what i want to wear what looks good and what you know yeah, and then like you kind of like 10 pieces yeah and then you kind of just go to it and That's then cool. you don't spend money because you wear those things yeah if that makes yeah sense. how is styling women versus men different oh my gosh i love this question so much two completely different worlds men you get them an outfit they're either like this is dope like this is cool <laughs> like i'm gonna work, rock this you know or like i'm not feeling this yeah with women it's like well how can i hide this well how can i show this well mm -hmm. i'm not sure about that like so much like self-doubt and insecurity mm -hmm. and like you can see how it affects everything yeah. in your life from like throwing on an outfit to like you know looking good and yeah, feeling good feeling and be confident. able to yeah feel confident it's so sad because girls should be able to throw something on and be like oh this is cool i yeah. like this yeah but we can't because we're like constantly thinking about all these standards and yeah. you know so many what i could go on forever and ever keep going, keep going. Like, i think there's dressing for fashion and yourself and for mm -hmm. women and then there's dressing for men which mm -hmm. is like very different yeah you know yeah and i think that like in the back of our minds we always want to be like admired like we want mm -hmm. to be desired we want to be so like that's sometimes taking away from like do i really like this outfit yeah we get so caught up in what like, like how people what it, perceive us mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like what is my image right now instead of like do i like this like, right what is my opinion yeah exactly yeah what should men look out for to find their style so like how would a guy who's not super into fashion go about finding like what he does like so I think being able to try things out mm -hmm. and maybe step out of your comfort zone is a really good mm -hmm. place to start. Um, maybe picking out something you wouldn't typically wear and trying it and yeah. being like, okay, like I, I like this or this isn't for me. I think the best tip for men is getting like, and women, this is like my fashion tip, is getting the right size. Yeah. Because sometimes like oversized on men just looks messy and sloppy, but they think mm. like, oh, this is comfy and cool, like whatever. Like, no, like a tailored fitted piece yeah. is always so great. Oh. Let's start a oh. podcast. Oh my God, that would be so fun. <laughs> Can we? Yeah. But stay tuned for Jasmine and Julie. <laughs> Download our podcast. Um, what's your current inspo for your styling right now? Current inspo is always the person that I'm styling. I draw mm. from them like their mm. energy and like what they want to project and like i take them and just like amplify it and elevate it oh, cool. like times a million so yeah. like maybe they wouldn't necessarily wear something but it's like in the realm of what they like yes you like take what they like and you just exaggerate like yeah. make it bigger mm -hmm. what are the best tops to wear with mom jeans crop tops Ooh, yeah. Crop tops with mom jeans if they're like high-waisted. I also am really into the corset tops. I just posted a picture where I'm wearing like jeans and like a corset -y kind of top. Mm -hmm. Last question from Instagram. Any tips for styling a bump? As in A maternity. baby bump! Okay, I think comfort is the number one tip. You're going through so much mm -hmm. and the last thing you should be is uncomfortable in your clothing. 
Um, I typically say like as long as it looks good wear it like who cares if like the heels hurt like who cares? you know what I yeah. mean like rock it uh -huh. But if you're pregnant that is your path to be comfy and you can still be comfy and look so cute mm. I think it's amazing and a miracle and so beautiful and you should show the bump Wear that fitted like shirt or mm -hmm. dress and like show your cute bump cool So those are all the questions we have for today If you guys haven't already make sure to check out Jasmine's closet raid below and follow her on Instagram Instagram for major info. Ah, She's all the fashion goals. And let us know if you have any more questions. You can always ask Jasmine on Instagram on the Yeah, same. you can definitely YouTube. tweet me. I, lo I oh, love tweet. Twitter. Okay. I am such a Twitter person. So send Jasmine a tweet if you have any questions. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to her amazing channel. Uh, so click the subscribe button. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Cool Interviews. Bye. Bye.